Welcome back to the final vi demonstration video for the Lost Run Data Analysis Project, at least for this semester. All right, so as you can see here, I copied and pasted, well, special copy and pasted. Remember, you got to do the uh, paste, the link with picture. And I'm just kind of getting these all put away. Got 10 of them here. Yeah, and so I could, I could open those up. I can move them around as I need. So back up to the top. So I manually entered in the ranges, everything was typed in except for I did create equations for the outlier average, which I just clicked on it, clicked equal, then clicked the uh, amount divided by the number, and then I clicked and dragged it down. All right, I'm going to teach you how to fill in the final, the bottom row, because some students get it wrong. So we're not going to fill in where it has ranges. That's just educational. That's academic. So I go equal sum because it's going to be a total. So <clears throat> in our priorities, 10 priorities, we're expecting 37 claims to fall under these sources. For the average, we can't calculate it. We have to calculate it once we get other information because an average of an average is not accurate. The median, we can't do that either um, because it's, it's, it's based on a larger data set. The range we're not going to do. So let's add these up equal sum. This is the total amount we're estimating. Again, it's very conservative. We're going to, I mean, I could recalculate it, but I'm just going to add it up. Same thing, because it's the same. Um, why won't that work? I'll just have to type it again. There's our total ask. Boy, I did that right off the top of my head before. Um, th this should be rounded. Y you don't go all the way to the dollar. So I think 134 is going to be the ask. And let's add this stuff up. Add up these. I'm going to move this out of the way and see if I can click and drag. Yeah, I can. But of course, then I have to turn it into currency. And I didn't save any time whatsoever. All right, I'll put this back. All right, now we can do the average. Equal the total amount for estimate divided by the number. And that's our average. It's weird that it's higher, although the estimations are different. They're not everything is going to match up. So that's our overall average. Again, it's not. It's above all these, but it's because some of the estimates were higher, some were lower. Not all, we're all based on annual averages, whereas these were all based on annual averages or fiscal year averages. So that's what it came out to be. Interesting. So this is what we've been working toward for the last five weeks. Um, to be able to go to management with an estimation that through all this, think back to all the steps we did, and I'm going to go through them in a moment, uh, kind of just defining the broad scope of the data set and what's there. Um, and then graphing it, doing a distribution graph and, in the, and finding that, you know, we've got just a few of these really expensive claims. Everything seems to be down low. Um, low payment is what I meant. You know, below 2,000, 2,000 and less, basically. Uh, we, took, we looked at the medians. That gave us another view of what's going on. Um, then we moved on to the outliers. And we, we used sort of a visual type approach to identifying where which outliers we want to uh, remove as we do our... Um, our, our forecasting annually overall, and then we also had them in and out when we were doing the priority analyses. And then finally, when we did, when we focused on our priorities and forecasted them. And this is what we ended up with. You know, I think it's kind of interesting. You know, the ranges here are just meant to sort of be a backup, you know, and it's interesting how sometimes it scrapes a little bit high, sometimes it scrapes a little bit low. Um, what we chose, and then they requested this is very conservative. So if we were, if we were asking for one hundred and thirty-four thousand um, dollars, that's based on an estimated, uh, very conservative estimate that just in these top ten, some of them are similar. Um, the company would pay this much. So the, there's a twenty-five percent return on that investment based on what our numbers say. Of course, this doesn't include the overall outliers, which is 1.8 million, which is our, you know, basically uh, the support for, well, you know, this is a good idea, but this kind of drives it home. And we've got the 
averages here versus the averages here, so you can see what the difference is. They've got enough of them. You know, 26 of the 30 were caught here in the top 10. Are outliers different than our regular ones? For the most part, no. There were a few unique ones that had amputation related to them or finger crushing. There's one allergy, but for the most part, this is what we've been working to. Um, <clears throat> the end of the presentation is essentially, um, based on all this analysis, today the safety department is asking for a modest investment of $134,000 that'll be used to talk to workers, supervisors, do some work study, and come up with solutions to the top 10 causes here. If, if, if successful, we'll be able to show you a 25% return on an investment within the first year. And by the way, these estimations do not include 1.8 million or probably about 70,000 of the total claim report. Thank you. Do you have any questions? That's basically it. So you guys should be putting comments here. I, I, and I tried not to put the comments on. A um, little upset. I've had some students who have been copying just what I type in. Not even the equations, but the numbers. And that's upsetting to me that they're not even attempt, you're not even attempting to learn um, how to use Excel. So I'm not going to put any comments. You have to come up with those. So let's go back to the beginning. You know who you are. So first we've got the policy info. Um, I added all these things um, in a video a couple weeks ago. I, I may create one more video, a bonus video, of uh, doing an analysis of the um, the fiscal year amounts. I may actually go back to a calendar year. No, I'll stick with fiscal year. And I'll look at total incurred and see how it may affect the, the EMR. I'm not expecting you to do that. Um, it's kind of complex, but... If you want to, I mean, I'd at least like you to look up the WCRB uh, and maybe some other information relevant to the company and the industry they're in. Here's the master report. You see how I colored things? Kind of cool, right? It helps. Master report, there's nothing here to see. It was not molested. Pivot table, I left that in there just to show that I used it. Here's my descriptives tab. So this should be, this should have been a table That's pretty. So it's ready to go. You know what I mean? This needs a lot of prettying, but for some reason it's not letting me change the uh, the look of this. So I would start this one over, but you put in comments. So I should be able to click on a tab, see your results table, everything's well labeled, it looks presentable, and then see the comments. That's what I'm gonna be doing when I grade your Excel. And the comments, the presentation and comments are basically half of the grade right there. The other half is that you went through everything. Here's the distribution table, looking nice. The outlier table, you see how you can manipulate things within your page. And then here's the thing too, once you get it so that it's look good, save it. Because then next time it's opened, it'll open exactly as you left it. Uh, these also need to be made into tables again. I'll, I'm not going to do that right now. And there should also be comments here. I don't know where the comment window went. Fiscal year trending with, with outliers. Comments here. See, I can see everything. Um, you know, you're like presenting it to me that I can... Oh, that one actually looks nice. Um, but everything should be here along with comments. I would like to just go from tab to tab and just go, okay, they did the work. I see they did the work. They have some comments. Great. Move to the next one. Oh, it's all right here. I see what's going on. Think about the presentation. I don't want to open a tab and see this. Some of you have been doing that and that just drives me nuts. The more work I have to put in to finding the work I'm supposed to grade, the lower grade you're going to get. It's not a threat. I'm just saying. Um, the new cause, um, and I, I had pointed out in the last video, I updated these numbers so they should match yours. Here's another one. And then we get into the base forecast. So here's the setup. Um, so this is the number I type in manually. This is the one that comes from on the screen. I did it in the last video. Again, these are all the equations. So if I, when I'm grading, if I click on these and I see a number typed into some of these versus the equation, I'm wondering, did you do the work or did you just copy from the video? And you'll lose points for that. If I go through and everything's typed in, you just watch the videos and typed in the numbers, you, you're gonna get a zero for this because you didn't do any work. You just copied. Um, so here is repetitive motion. As you can see, I, I can compare the charts. I have all the data here and then the comments will be right there. That's what I wanna be able to read. 
And now, as I said in the last video, this is a good chance to check and make sure everything's right. You see how standard that is? Look at, I go from that to that to that. Isn't that cool? I mean, okay, this was not cool. This is supposed to be shrunken down. There, that's better. Did not do it on this one. No, that one did it. There, there. See how nice that is? Everything's nice and clean and in its proximate spot. So I can just click through this. The idea, I mean, what you want me to do is be able to just go from tab to tab, to tab to tab, to the final, see the comments, see everything going on, and say, good job. I, I You presented to me well. The numbers look good. You obviously did the work because I clicked on a few things and saw that you put in the equation. Sweet. Full points for your final score. That's what I'm looking for. And then the next step is for you to come up with a presentation that's under five minutes that ex that educates management on this data study and what it meant and therefore the justification for investment and an investment amount. And what are you going to do with that money? Something different because what we've done previously obviously isn't working. Um, <laughs> my phone just made a funny noise. Uh, but that's really it. So um, you still should have the these things at the end uh, to show that you attempted to do the accident department and the new cause. Uh, those of you who are doing your own data will that you know all of your priorities here will will have that. Um, again, if you want to put a color in, you just right click on the tab and go to tab color and you do that. Um, but that's basically it. This is what we've been working toward, and this is the this is going to be the the centerpiece of your technical report and of your executive summary and your presentation. You're working up to this to basically this line here. That this is what we found out. This is where this is what we want to. This is what we want to study, and this is what we'd like to invest because of the 25% return on investment. That's all I got.